This is the Military and Aerospace Electronics Report. I'm John Keller. Well, the notion of laser weapons used to be the stuff of outer space fiction, but not for much longer, as high-energy lasers and their potential future role in the nation's weapons arsenal dominates military research and development, and as more and more of these laser weapons projects crop up in the news. Now, here's a case in point. Just last week, Boeing and BAE Systems announced they've demonstrated a prototype laser cannon that could be bolted to the decks of U.S. warships to, de to deter pirates, drug smugglers, and even swarms of small attack boats, the likes of which Navy surface forces have already confronted in the Persian Gulf. Okay, so we might be leaping ahead a little too quickly here. Just suppose this experimental weapon, the Mark 38 Mod 2 tactical laser system, were ever to gain sufficient momentum to be considered seriously for deployment. Just where on a Navy ship might it be located? Now, this kind of question might sound trivial to us, but when it comes to planning the deck layouts of Navy warships, it's one of the most important considerations. The definition of ship shape, after all, means a place for everything and everything in its place. Well, laser weapons developers at Boeing and BAE Systems have already figured that problem out, undoubtedly, as they anticipate resistance from Navy higher-ups who might be more satisfied with how things are than how things might be. The Mark 38 tactical laser prototype is based on the Navy's existing Mark 38 Mod 2 25mm machine gun, of which more than 90 system variants are already deployed worldwide, many of them on U.S. Navy warships. Now what I mean here is the Mark 38 tactical laser system could be a drop-in replacement for the Mark 38 machine gun. It goes in the same place aboard ship, takes up no more room than the machine gun does, and the two weapons are designed to do the same things. Provide shipboard defense against small, fast, and agile surface threats. Swapping out a laser weapon for a machine gun might have several advantages. First, as long as you have sufficient power, you never have to reload a laser. That deadly beam of light is always there as long as there's power to run it. Last I checked, generating power on a Navy surface combatant hasn't been considered to be a big problem. Then again, a laser doesn't produce all those nasty spent bullet casings that litter the decks around those Mark 38 machine guns for sailors to trip on. Also to be considered, you don't miss with a laser, not for long anyway. That should be enough to make those pirates and drug runners think twice. But perhaps most importantly, in the pieces that need to come together to move experimental weapons out of the laboratory and into the field, guess who makes the Mark 38 Mod 2 machine gun for the Navy? That's right, BAE Systems. Sounds like this could be the beginning of something big. For the Military and Aerospace Electronics Report, Thank you.